Hello guys and welcome to a, another video on Godric TV. Uh, today we are showing you the Blade Dancer. <clears throat> now, now the Blade Dancer in itself is a very strong class, as an, I keep saying about every class. Every class is strong in this game, right? I'm going to say it now, every class is strong. Um, what makes Blade Dancer so strong is their ability to deal so much damage and be so evasive in what they do. Also they've got a grab, um, which is also very strong, which we will, which we will go on to. Um, but basically, it can it can it can incapacitate the enemy, um, and you can do damage whilst you grab on them as well. It's really really good fun. Um, Blade Dancer uh, is currently one of my um, one of my mains in China. Um, the main reason being, um, it is ping reliant. It is quite a ping reliant class, but um, it is definitely possible to be able to deal a crap ton of damage even with a relatively high ping. Um, with a lower ping, obviously, you're going to have the advantage of attacking a lot faster. Like, Blade Dancer is probably one of the quickest, quickest characters going, but with a higher ping, um, it's not as quick. You can understand that. Um, but definitely, this is a class, th this is definitely a force to be reckoned with. I'd definitely recommend one of these if you are looking to play a melee class with a relatively high ping. Um, they are good fun, and as I said, they are um, very strong as well. So, what we're going to do is that we're going to move on to the Blade Dancer right now. Um, we're going to go into the game. And whilst we're in the game, um, I'm going to be uh, going over the specs um, of, of kind of what of kind of what to go and also what to do for PVE and PVP. Um, first of all, though, <coughs> we're going to we're going to go into we we're, we're going to discuss. Excuse the noise, everyone else is fighting the dummies here. But also, my ping is relatively high in China right now. I'm not using my normal software that I need, that I used to use because it's currently having issues. So therefore, I've currently got around. Um, around uh, 270 ms at the moment which is not very really good I normally get around 150 to 160 on the server unfortunately it is lagging um, so you, you're just going to have to persevere me in, in regards to looking at the damage so basically um, the blade dancer itself uh, your Q and E um, can basically teleport behind the enemy um, it can it can be evasive so that's your Q and E basically when you use when you actually use your Q and E though let's move away that guy is really noisy so basically when you um, when you use your Q, it makes your hack instant, which is your right mouse button. So this is the normal hack. So you see what I mean? It charges up, then it's instant. That's going to be a lot faster than it is, right? So if you were to do that with an, a native ping, you'll be doing it so freaking quickly. Honestly, it will be it will be like blazing glory with that speed. Basically, um, we're going to show you now. So see, you see the um, you saw the uh, the hack kind of animation. But if you use your Q or E, that makes it instant. So you press Q, instant. What you saw there is the also is the F ability. So you can see right mouse button, right mouse button, F. To proc F, you need these three balls. To get those three balls, you use hack to get it. So you can see F. Boom! Big damage, big damage, big damage, big damage. AOE, AOE, AOE. F. Big damage again, and so on. Like the class, the class, like hack is probably one of your main main abilities, especially whilst you're leveling. Um, and um, we're going to go on to uh, your right mouse button and hack now because obviously we've gone over those so, so we're going to discuss about them. So first of all uh, you have your hack here. Um, as you can see it crits, accelerates on consecutive casts and also allows, um, after using sideways dash, um, it maxes the speed which is what I've explained. Q and E makes it instant. It's the fastest it can go. If you have a native ping honestly go and watch some YouTube videos of native ping uh, blade dancers and you see how quick they are. They are literally insane so 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 quick okay so we'll move um in regards to what i've spec'd um the reason why i spec this the reason why i spec this over that one um yeah it it my one does does deal more damage but unfortunately the area is a lot shorter so when so when you're so so when you're attacking this if you go down this side of things it's two times eight min eight meters so that means you that you can hit further when you're using your hack the reason why I've gone for this one, it's more damage. I'm generally up close and personal in PvE anyway. You're a melee, you don't really need the 8 meters. You are going to be sitting on their face generally. So you don't need to bother uh, with, with personally going the 8, uh, going the eight meter. Um, so I generally go to the 5. If you want to spec this in PvP, you can. But realistically, surprisingly funny enough, you do not need your hack enough in PvP. Um, and I'll kind of go through that and explain why. But it's, it's not great. Like You don't use it enough. You really don't use it enough. So we'll move on to the next one. 
Um, the next part um, is the F ability. So that's basically when you get the three orbs around you, then you can use your F ability. What this does is quite simple. It deals a large a number of damage. It, does, it deals a, a crap ton of damage. Also, it fl inflicts bleeding and it ignores block. So if someone's blocking you, you just slap an F on their face. So if you're doing your RB, RB, RB whilst it's hitting them and your F procs, if they, say, like, say, say for instance, if a Blade Master try, 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 tries to block you, you can hit your F. Um, if it's procced and then it will go straight through his block and then end up ripping his face open. Um, very strong. Very, very, very strong indeed. Um, we'll move on to the next volley, um, which is basically, um, funny enough, uh, Blade Dancer also has um, a draw stance. Now, with draw stance, uh, the only way you can generally get into draw stance is by pressing C. Now, C is your Thundering Blade. It's very similar to uh, Blade Master in that respect, um, which I'm going to move on to now. So, <clears throat> the Thundering Blade itself um, is a really strong on uh, Blade Dancer. And the main reason being, if you knock an enemy down, if you literally knock an enemy down, you can see there, it deals damage anyway, but on a knockdown target, it deals an additional, like, double the damage. So, it deals an additional 3,154 to 3,491. It's really freaking good. Um, and I'll explain why. Also, the Hongman skill in it in itself is crazy. Every Blade Dancer that plays this class on release wants to get this. I promise you this. You want to get Thunder and Blade. Um, and you want to get the Hongman level. The main reason why you want to do this, it puts a dot on the floor and it deals 6,271 to uh, 6,945. It's really freaking good. Okay, so we're going to press C and I'll show you what the dot does and you can see how much damage it does. Obviously, I can't knock down target dummies so you can appreciate what the damage looks like, but it's still good. I'll show you now. So press C. As you can see, it's ticking damage, ticking damage, ticking damage. As you can see what comes up here, you have Bolt Strike and Blade Draw. And I'm going to go into those two now. Whilst we've got the cooldown of Thunder and Blade. So, whilst you're in Blade Draw, uh, Blade, Blade Draw, Blade Draw um, you'll have um, you'll have these, ba these it's, I mean, it's pretty freaking simple really. Um, depending on how you want to spec it, you can go down the right side of the tree. It's your choice. Um, but that's um, that does give you AoE, personally. Yeah, it's not worth it. You can already like do your shoe shoes really quickly. Um, the, the obviously lower you go, the more damage it does. It's generally uh, well, it is exactly the same all the way through. Um, there's no chi difference. There's nothing. Uh, so if you go down the left side of the tree, basically you're going to be doing 3,297 to 3,650 damage per 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 um per blade draw. It's really strong and really powerful. Um, you you kind of always generally use it. Um, we're going to move into the bolt strike now. Uh, the bolt strike is what we've gone through, um, which I showed you when we hit blade draw. So what this does, um, now there's kind of different ways that you can go. You can either go down the stun route, which is the middle tree. Generally, if you're going to go down the stun route, you will want to go, um, if you do, sorry, if, if you do do PvP, you're, you're going to want to go down the uh, stun route. Um, if you are planning on, on, on going down the stun route, don't forget that you can only use this once and it's 30 second, um, 36 second cooldown. Um, you can reduce, uh, sorry, you can't, um, you can't reduce it, unfortunately. Uh, if, if you do go down the damage route, you will have a 9 second. So basically, with the stun version, you can only cast it once and you have to wait 36 seconds to use it again. It's very good in PvP and extremely, extremely strong. Um, also for PvE, it's very good, especially for solo play. Because basically what you can do is that you can cast it an additional two times when you hit it. So I will show you what it does. So basically you can cast it three times. And it does a lot of damage. Um, and it messes with people's mind. Because if you're teleporting one way, teleporting another, teleporting one way. This is what I mean. Blade Dance is so quick. It's such a fast class. This is the reason why I've been main not on China. Because it's that fun. Also, if you crit, if you crit whilst you're in your blade draw stance... Um, instead of getting the Phantasmal Blade, personally, I would never go Phantasmal Blade. It's okay. Yeah, it's all right. But this is so much good, so much stronger. So Twin Thunder, everyone generally uses in PvP and PvE. It, it's it's a lot better. It it, it yeah, it basically makes it doesn't make you stationary, but because you can move whilst casting it. But personally, you would want to use this. Um, you you would want to use this over Phantasmal Blade. I can assure you, it's really good. So what it does, um, it deals it deals 7,058 7, um, damage over two times. So basically, with a twin blade, you'll see what it does. It deals like double damage. It will hit twice. If you press your F, it will hit twice. Unfortunately, my ping has gone up to 360 now. So you you'll kind of get a feel for it. It's going to be in, basically in slow motion, or what? Yeah, well, actually, what I'm going to show you, but. 
just to give you a heads up to show you what that actually looks like and what kind of damage it does um, I do not know I did not know what's going on with my ping today it's kind of depressing actually um, but we're gonna we're gonna move on so I'm gonna show you the bolt strike and then I'll show you the um, twin thunder as well just to show you how strong they actually are so basically to get into uh, draw stance you press C press right mouse button as you can see right mouse button um, I would have cast it three times but I'm lagging as you can see when it crit you can use your F ability F again right mouse button right mouse button so you can keep doing it like three times and it's only a six second cooldown so if you're still in blade draw stance if you're literally still in blade draw stance um, you can do it again look soft cooldown again it's it's really good honestly like this stance right here is where you're going to maximize your dps i can assure you you will, you will literally do some crazy damage um, if you use twin thunder and also using your um, thunder um, thunder and blade sorry um, this is where your main damage source comes from. It is a little bit of a cooldown, but realistically, a lot of people say, well, why can't I go and blade stance when I want? If you did that, it would be pretty damn overpowered. But the cooldown of your thunder and blade is only 36 seconds. Realistically, you can stay in your um, draw stance for more than 36 seconds. So as soon as you come out of um, blade stance, sorry, as soon, as soon as you come out of draw stance, you can near enough press it instantly again and you can continue and literally wreck and face. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, yeah, I really wouldn't worry about it because you, you are going to be able to use it practically straight away as well. So also Thunder Blade is 36 seconds. Don't forget if you do go down the Hongman side of things, which you want to do when the game officially launches, you want to get this dot ability. You want to get, you want to increase it. To get that ability, it's actually really easy. It's actually one of the easiest ones to get. And I'll show you. Uh, where are we? Skills. Okay, so all you've got to do um, is hit this person, um, hit um, Zolai in Thunder Prison 10 times with your Thunder and Blade. Again, in Snowman Cave, it's another boss, and also another boss in Split Maze, which these are all the end bosses in these dungeons. So all you have to do is um, do this, literally hit them with your damage, um, and also it will give you a quest afterwards. You have to do the quest, um, which basically means go into dungeons and clear some content. Um, also, you need to get. Um, bear with me for one moment. You also need to get um, items which you buy on China. This is what you need to do anyway. When it comes to EU and NA, all you need to do is Serpent Supply Cave. And I'll show you one moment. Yeah, so here you are. So on China, you have to buy these. Um, but on EU and NA, these are called these are called Evil Girl badges. Don't ask me why. It's kind of weird. But ultimately, you need to um, you need to do Serpent Supply Cave. So you can do this at low level. Like you, you, when when we hit 45, we're going to be at 45 cap. You can get these by by doing that instance. They drop and they uh, and they come from quests as well. So you want you are going to want to get at least I think it's I think it's either 10 10 um, 10 or 20 of these or 15. I'm not sure. Sure, it's in between that anyway. But you can only buy five per day. So you are kind of stuck in regards to China. You have you you are kind of limited in how many you can buy. Uh, but ultimately, you you will need these to be able to um, to be able to um, What's it? Sorry, um, my mind's com complete bank. Okay, you you will need them to get your C ability. So you can see on here, if you want to get that, you're gonna need to get your C C, C ability. Um, also, when you buy the 10 to 15 or 20, whatever it is, again, um, you you have to uh, trade them in for a page, and with that page, that's when it starts the quest. It's really simple to do, honestly. Like every single one of these every single one of these to get well that's gen that one is the easiest but all these other ones by getting pages and, and eating the pills and getting the flame or i will explain on another video so don't worry about that don't fret about that i will explain that in, in into a lot more detail but ultimately this is this is how you get your c ability anyway you're going to want to get it it's really freaking good okay we we'll move, we'll move on to the next ability now so gale wind gale wind is your standard um standard ability here she left mouse button. Everyone knows what a left mouse button does. So basically, if you spec it down this route, um, uh, every time you crit, recovers one additional tree. Also, in um, chi, sorry, not tree. Um, also increases critical by three percent for three seconds. Gives you a critical bonus stack up to ten times, and also um, a critical hit resets critical bonus as well. So it's 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 standard. It's what every class has. Everyone has this kind of thing. Um, also, if you want to go on the right side of the, uh, into the middle tree, you can use it to increase your attack, attack speed, but it gets rid of the critical hit recovers one additional chi. To me, the one chi is more important more, more important than attack speed. It's a lot more important than attack speed. 
because realistically, if you've got high crit, you're going to be returning more chi than you are if you go down the crit route. Uh, in regards to the attack speed route, sorry. Um, moving on, this is um, kind of like a defense uh, defense increase by 100. So if you're tanking or whatever, it's very rare that you'd be tanking on the Blade Dancer. They're not known for their tanking. Um, but if you do go nice, if you do want to go down the side of the route, it's your choice. It's relatively good. Okay, next ability. Um, again, up, 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 upward slash. Personally, I wouldn't bother putting points into this. There's no need. It's it's just a waste of points in my opinion. Um, yeah, I I really wouldn't worry about it. Really wouldn't worry about it. It's not worth it at all. Um, if you stand or grog the enemy, it hits me in the air. Simple as. Um, next ability again. Uh, this is an explosive blade. So basically, if someone's defending, if someone is literally standing there with a block and defending, you can throw your F at them. Um, it ignores defense, remove internal injury effect, and again, if they are knocked down, um, it doesn't work unfortunately. But it is very strong. Um, it does. Do, um, it does do damage. Would have put points in it? No, I wouldn't. It's not worth putting points in. Also, if um, if you use your, if you use basically if you use your F, the upward slash, hit him in the air. You can use your F again, um, which will throw the F in the air whilst they're airborne, and it will basically hold them there for a, uh, for a few seconds whilst they're in the air. There's not really a lot you can do with them. You throw it, hit them in the air. Whilst they're in the air, then you can use um, your left mouse button, which is your okay flight. That's not the one. So bear with me. How many times have I played this character? Okay, um, your le your actually left mouse button extends um, extends the um, airborne. So whilst you when you press F, hit them in the air. You use your left mouse button. You can juggle them in the air. Um, and also this one does the same, Celestial Dance, unfortunately it's a 45 second cooldown, but this is a lot stronger than this. Um, I see a lot of people in PvP, hey, look, as you can see, deals 5 consecutive funded damage to a maximum of 1440 to 1590 damage. That is stronger than this one. So if this is off cooldown, you want to use this. So if you're hitting them in the air, juggling them, use your right mouse button first because it does a shed ton more damage. You, ha you want to use this, trust me. It's strong really strong also your left mouse button this is the one ascension um, when you juggle them up the air so you press your right mouse button you press left mouse button again to then hit him up in the air again in like fighting like a beautiful fire from glory blaze it looks amazing um, that deals a shed ton of damage again so it's all about juggling your opponent it's all you know, it's all about being evasive it's all about using your noggin um, really really strong so a lot of people say a lot of people say that um, blade dancers are Spin to win, right? Dan, not. Um, the reason being, uh, people are saying the spin to win because you think you can just do this all day. You can't do this all day. Doesn't matter how much you want to do it all day, your chi will not let you do it. Your focus on an AE would not let you do that. You physically can't just spin to win all day. But what makes this strong is this side of the tree. Now, this side of the tree, it increases movement speed, increases your defense, reduces incoming um, damage by 25%, and if you hit someone, it recovers one chi. Yeah, it's all right. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. But this side of the tree is where it's at. This is where it's at. Not only in PVE, but PVP as well. As you can see on here, it deals damage and also parries multiple attacks for 0 0.5 seconds after casting. Um, the 0 0.5 seconds after casting is basically if someone's about to hit me and I press my tab straight away. So if you've got decent ping, if you press your tab straight away, it will deflect him and then it will stun him. So it will put him into a groggy. As soon as you put him in a groggy, you can hit your F. Press your right mouse button, press your left mouse button, so you juggle him in the air, he'll land, press your C, blah, 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 blah. It's knowing what to do in combos. Like, combos in this game is where it's at, and, and Blade Dancer's got quite a few of them. Um, so if you do go down, like, you, you, will, you will want to go down this side of the tree, because as soon as the enemy hits you, um, you can literally uh, stop what they're doing, put them in a groggy, then you can stun them. It is good, really, really good, and I, and I would recommend anyone going down this route if they, if they are going to be playing this class. Tab is basically, I mean, I've explained it on, on all the other classes. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like a trinket ability. Um, it gets you out of a sticky situation, gets you out of uh, grabs, gets you out of stuns, groggies. You can only use it once every 36 seconds. You want to use it wisely. Do not burn it and do not just spunk out the tree, personally. Um, now, this ability, uh, personally, I wouldn't bother unless you're playing a summoner. If you're playing a summoner, let me move away from them people. It's too noisy. If you are playing a summoner, so bear with me for one moment. Okay, so if you're actually playing a summoner, playing against a summoner, you're going to want to spec this this way. 
the reason why you want the reason why you want the reason why you're going to want to spec it this way is because if you stun a cat, so say for instance the cat's attacking you, you hit your tab, it stuns them, then you kick them with this, it will make them unconscious for 30 seconds. This is how you take a cat out of the fight. You need to take the cat out of the fight, and that's the way to do it. Um, that's the only way you can do it with this class. So if you are against summoner, you will need this. If not, rip and pepperonis, you, you you will want to do this. If you're going to be fighting anyone else, I wouldn't worry about anything. I wouldn't bother wasting your points on this. There's more important things to spend your points on. Okay, in regards to uh, the Swallow Blade. Um, now, this generally, I mean, I, I don't really recommend specking like this. I don't know why I have, so I'm going to remove them. But basically, if you're doing PvP, you're going to want to go down this side of the tree because you get another knockdown. Uh, this knockdown is very good. It throws it, it knocks them down. It's that simple. It doesn't do much else. If you could go further down, it gives them internal, um, it gives them bleeding, um, dis di uh, disables the movement abilities, and also knocks them down and decreases their movement speed by 30 seconds. It's strong. It's a 18 second cooldown. It's a bit rough, but it's not the end of the world. It's it's yeah. It it, it is what it is, guys. It is what yeah. It is what it is. Um, Okay, so in regards to your um, second ability, Gale Blade. Uh, Gale Blade, you can do of two different ways, really. It's your choice. Personally, if you want to go down this side of the tree, you're going to be doing solo kind of leveling, um, generally. If you're, going to, if, if you're going to go down the middle tree, you would use this generally in... Um, you would use this in PvE combat, so you would use this whilst... Um, you would use this whilst uh, with a group party. You wouldn't use this on your own because the cooldown is pretty rough. Um, it does deal a shed ton of damage, like ridiculous amount of damage. If I just put one point and I'll kind of show you. Um, it is really good. Really, really good. So look how much damage that does. That is mental. 16 second cooldown, yeah. It doesn't... It's a bit of a gap closer, but for a gap closer of, of, of that long, it's not worth it. Um, you only want to use that to, op um, to maximise your damage whilst doing P PvE content with your friends um, or randoms. If you go down the right side of the tree, you're going to want to spec this. It's a 30 second cooldown, but it's an additional stun. This stun right here is what you need for PvP. Do not go down this tree or this tree for PvP. Go down this tree. You need this stun. It's very, very good. Obviously, all it is meant to be is a gap closer, a stun. Then you can knock them in the air again, juggle them, etc. It's good. Go go for that. Um, if you want to go down this side of the tree, it's your choice. I mean, if, if you want to spec in this tree, it's your choice. Again, it's another knockdown. Personally, do you need another knockdown? Not really. You can get it just to reduce the cheese. So you can put one point in there. I wouldn't bother any other ways. Um, if you want to go down the right side of the tree, you can. It's a ground splitter ability. Ground, spl ground splitter does look absolutely amazing, which I'm about to show you now. Um, also, it's another AoE damage. So basically, I know I was saying to you about the C earlier. Do you remember the C ability? So you can hit C. Then you can hit free as well, so it's, just even, it's even, even more damage. It's, it's just damage floating on, uh, just like diving onto the person. It's only 19 second cooldown. It doesn't last forever. It's only five seconds, but again, it deals damage over time. It's worth putting down when you're doing PVE content. I would spec this if you're going into dungeons or doing a lot of AOE solo play. It's worth specking into. You don't really need the knockdown. Um, it's your choice. Unless someone says to you, we need you to go your knockdown, get ground splitter off. And you're like, oh, okay. Because there's some bosses that you will, have to, you will actually have to knock down as your class. Okay. I'm not going to move on to these abilities, unfortunately, because I can't show you. But basically, um, we have this grab ability, right? So grab is, um, you can basically pick up an enemy. Actually, let me, let me. you know what? I'm going to completely go against the terms of this video. And I'm going to go and show you uh, what this does. So it... I can, I can just, yeah. If I show you, it will make a lot more sense. So, we'll, so we'll go and find somewhere. So, um, <clears throat> what the grab does basically is that it, 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 it will pick up the enemy. Um, even if they're blocked, you can pick them up. Uh, the only way you can prevent from getting picked up is if you use your SS or use some sort of ability where um, you can be like evasive. That's the only time that you, that you can stop being picked up. Um, so, if someone's standing there just holding their block like that. You can pick them up. It won't, yeah, it won't be a problem. You can pick them up. Um, but if they're using like their Q or E to use their evasive skills, or say for instance this class with your V, you can't pick them up. Okay. Now we're in this area. I'm going to go and attack a mob. I'll go and pick them up and show you what it's all about. Before I do though, I'm going to show you what what they do. So basically, you have this drain ability, right? This is standard. Everyone, um, you will get drain regardless. What Drain does, um, it recovers 5% five, 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 uh, 5 HP. It is worth doing. You also can go down that, can, you, you actually can go down this side of the tree. A lot of people do for PvP. It basically gives you another groggy. It's, it is strong. It's your choice if you want to put, put if, it's, sorry, it's your choice if you want to put points into it. Personally, I wouldn't really worry about it. Um, yeah, 
I'm not the professional um, limb blade master or blade dancer, um, but personally, me, yeah, I won't bother. Also, this ability here is a sword slash. Uh, you can use sword slash whilst picking them up in fan fa in uh, phantom grip. All your all your abilities basically here will change as soon as you pick someone up. You will see these change. But I'm going through these to show you what it's all about. So basically, this is like a left mouse button. Basically, that that that's what it is. It's a left mouse button. It's that simple. Um, it does damage, and it's what and and yeah. If you want to re regen your chi or anything. Um, you're going to want to go down that tree. The reason why um, you want, you're going to want to put, put, put points into it to give them internal bleeding and even more damage. Um, yeah, I would definitely put points into this. Also, um, you're going to want to regen your chi whilst picking someone up because if you don't, you will not be able to use this. Now, this is an ability called Blade Storm. What Blade Storm does, it's clear what it says on the tin, really. Um, it deals 20,000 to 22,000 of, of uh, dark damage over five times. So if you've got them and you've and if you've got enough chi, um, you can press your right mouse button and basically it will sink a blade in them. The blades will go into them and it will keep stabbing into them like uh, uh, over a period of time. It's really strong. You're going to want to use it. Um, you make sure you've got enough chi to put that in because that's your most damage. When you pick someone up, that's where most of your damage will actually come from. So make sure you to use it. Um, also, another biddy um, is this. So this is Lightning Soul. So it's another damage over a time ability which you can have whilst using fan, um, Phantom Grip. You're going to want to pick it up, honestly. Um, you, where well, you get it standard, but, you, but you're, gonna, you're going to want to make sure that you actually press it and actually use it. It's really strong, trust me. Really, really strong. Um, next next one whilst you're in there is Sap as well. So it deals damage. Personally, you want to don't waste, don't, don't waste your time and points whilst you're... Um, in Phantom Grip, do not bother pressing four. In my opinion, it's not worth it. It's, it's literally a waste of time. Also, also whilst you're um, whilst you've got them in, in um, Phantom Grip, you can they, you get the Z ability here, which is called Soul Blade Burst. What say what what Soul Blade Burst actually does? It can knock them back for eleven. It, it can knock them back eleven meters. Um, it's it's relatively good if you want to get people people away. In my opinion, do you want to knock them back? No, you want to be on top of them and raining shed tons of damage on them. Personally, I wouldn't bother wasting points into that. Uh, I pretty generally wouldn't even press it either. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and pick up an enemy. <clears throat> this enemy, These enemies will probably die pretty quick because these are only level 45, I think. can't remember myself now. Don't forget I'm lagging. I've got 352 ping at the minute. So we'll pick them up. As you can see, oh, I didn't go over maneuver. Basically, you tag your tag your tag the enemy, press F. Okay, we're gonna have to do that again. It's only 70 second cooldown, but that's generally it. So I'm gonna go over the two ability because we clearly missed that. So this is standard again. Tags the enemy with a soul blade mark, and it deals damage. As soon as you do that, then you can use your right button. What right button does again? I'll explain it for you. Right right button gives you the blade storm. This is why you want to use it, right? So we're going. So so we're going to pick someone up again. So we press four, two, F, right mouse button, and it's just damage over time. Like he will die instantly. The damage it does in there will literally take their HP from 100% to around 70 to 60%. Especially in PvP, um, that damage right there, like using your grab, is so important. If you don't use your grab in Pv PvP, um, you will, you will lose so much damage, and you will be struggling. Trust me, you would you would really be struggling. So you want to make sure you use your four and use these abilities whilst you're inside it. I hope that explains what, what um, the Phantom Grip does anyway. Okay, we'll move on to the next ability. We're actually on the last two abilities, to put it that way. Um, now, this, what this does, this is your X. It's called a Pen to Slash. Now, if you go down this side of the tree, you want to go down this side of the tree to maximize your damage. Um, that's the only time you'd want to go down the side, side of the tree is PvE. If you want to go down the PvP side, again, here's another ability here. Which can groggy. It's a free second groggy. So if they're groggy, again, you can use your F. You knock them in the air, juggle them, etc. Blah 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 blah. It's another ability which is very strong. It is a 45 second cooldown. It's pretty rough, but you need to spec it. It's really good. Okay, this side of the tree. The reason why the reason why I've gone down this side of the tree again is um, mainly for it's for a bit of both actually, PvP and PVE. So what this does, it deals damage. Like the damage is okay. It's not bad, but I've gone for it because it absorbs 100% of damage as HP. So if I crit for 5k, I'm going to get 5k HP back. It's worth getting, trust me. It's it's awesome. And you can cast it up to three times. And whilst you use it, um, it um, um, you cannot be hit by any damage. 
you, you cannot be hit by any damage. So if I go over to an enemy, let him hit me, then I'll use the V and I'll show you. So it will show, it will show you this effect. So if I go V, 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 V. Okay, that was kind of a bad because it's in between cast. God damn it! But basically, what that does, they they actually can't hit you whilst you're in that. They 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 physically cannot hit you. Um, so if they're trying to do any damage on you, you're just going to deflect the damage and, and actually resist it. It's not going to do any damage to you at all. It's a really strong ability. Um, and I'd spec it down this instead of these routes. Um, if you want to use PvP, you can also go down this route. But personally, I I prefer having this to having the resistance to damage. Because if you're, say, against a range or something and they're pummeling fireballs into your face, that's not going to make any difference to you. Um, it does pull enemies within 8 metres, but if they're further away, yeah, it's not worth it. Also, you do get another groggy from it, but I prefer going down this side of the tree, in my personal opinion. A lot of people go down this side of the tree whilst using PvE. Um, instead, if the if you don't need if you don't like if you're not doing solo play like we like with this, you would go down this side of the tree. Now, what this does, um, it deals a shed ton of damage. Also, if an enemy is stunned, knocked down, etc., it, it it can deal an extra like it can deal an extra like what five and a half k damage. So it is good, um, but it's uh, a single target attack rather than AOE attack. Um, it's your choice where, wherever you want to go down that tree or not. But ultimately, um, yeah. Honestly, guys, a Blade Dancer is a, a strong class. I know I keep saying it. Strong class, strong class, strong class. But they are really strong. They are um, really, really fun to play. That's why so many people play this class, I think. It's because they're so fun to play. Not only because they're so strong. They are a brilliant class to play. They are enjoyable. Um, and I would recommend them um, if you are looking to play a fun, fast damage dealing class who can move like the speed of lightning. Um, it's really good. So... Um, I think that's it. I think I'm going to round it up, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video. Um, there will be more and more videos coming um, within the near future. Uh, and we'll be doing a lot more class videos. I think we've got two left. I'm thinking about it. Or three left. Um, so if you do really enjoy watching the videos, and please um, follow me on uh, Twitter. Um, also follow me on uh, YouTube. Um, and also follow me on Twitch. I stream every day, playing Blade and Soul every day. So if you guys want to watch me, come by and say hello. It would be really good to see all you guys. Thank you much all for watching again. And uh, we'll see you guys next time with another tutorial video. Take care, everyone. Take care.